this video we're going to be showing you how to stop every single run in Madden, or at least the best runs in Madden with this defense. This is out of the 4-3, even 6-1 uh, defensive formation here. And actually, i got to show you some coaching adjustments before we get into this. If you guys want to check out my, my new 6-1 uh, defensive ebook, that is going to be in the school community. School members get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for uh, just 10 bucks for college football and for Madden. And 6-1 uh, is going to be dropping in that community any day now. So if you're not a member yet, make sure you get over there and uh, pick up this defense. I think this is going to be, again, one of the best defenses in the game. Um, and I think that this defense specifically is going to continue to get better as the year goes on. And so uh, we're going to be showing it today as a run defense. There's a lot of other things that this defense is valuable for. Uh, real quick, coaching adjustments. Auto flip defense play call off. Auto alignment to base. Option defense on conservative, and then you are going to be coming out in cover four quarters. Now, really, really important is you want to show blitz and shade underneath. Show blitz and shade underneath is super important to this. I really recommend as well containing, and you're going to stand back here. You don't want this bar over your head. You want to be kind of five yards off like this. And basically, when the ball is snapped, you're going to click your right joystick in repeatedly, and then you're just going to flow to the ball carrier. And basically, your user responsibility, you, you should be able to basically make all the tackles you need yourself. One other thing that you can do within this defense is to spread your linebackers. Um, that will just help kind of set the edge a little bit better. As you can see, we take stretch left, we take stretch right. We're going to be able to handle um, that. The stretch is the best run in the game. It's the run that you need to be able to consistently stop out of this. The ISO run is something they might try to run on you, but as you can see, you're able to pretty much blow that up as is. So you're going to be decent against that. The reason I like to spread my linebackers, and you could even honestly manually slide them out as well, is it just kind of funnels everything back to where your user is and where your safety help is. The other reason why we're in cover four quarters is because both of these safeties are going to be in the run fit, and then this defense is pretty much optimized for switch sticking. It's fairly simple to switch stick as well if they do call a pass play. And as you see, I mean, you're just going to be blowing up stretch on both sides. It's really, really difficult to run stretch on this. The cool part about this defense is this is actually the defense that Bill Belichick used in the Super Bowl against the Rams that just absolutely bagged their offense. It was pretty much this same kind of core concept. Uh, hopefully we can make a tackle. But this idea of 6-1. 6-1 is a really good run defense because of the alignment of the defense, just kind of the way it's laid out, it's hard to get the edge on either side. And then because it's so hard to get the edge on either side, you're able to basically just, you know, essentially strafe with your with your user. And again, this is why I like to stand back here. You could even go as far as being back in here where the safeties are. This is really helpful for stopping the run this year. This is something a little bit new. Um, in previous years, you pretty much wanted to be you know super close to the center I think in this year's game kind of similar to college football 25 if you're more backed off it's just a little easier uh, for you to to basically stop the run yourself the other thing that being more backed off is going to do is the offensive line is not going to target your user and so for example like a dive play you see that it kind of the the play kind of stops itself if you will so again my setup for this run defense is we're showing blitz we're going to spread the linebackers out I like to slant my line down and contain and then I do think a shade underneath is really helpful that's just going to make it so that if they do pass you don't have a terrible coverage for uh six one gets really really good sheds as well and then you can still switch stick on anybody on the field because you are still sitting four people six one still gets like I said really really good sheds so those are some pro sets that you're going to see people running out of now I want to show you uh some single back type of runs one of the main uh, under center running formations from single back this year is going to be this little um, kind of single back flex close. And then we'll talk a little bit about deuce close as well. Again, the main run uh, in this formation is going to be the stretch. This is also going to do fine against power. O. I'll show it. I'll even show it against goal line as well. It's not good against like if you're going to call this down in the inside the five, I would not recommend this defense specifically against QB sneak. So if they're going to run like a lot of QB sneak, this is not something that I would want you to be in. For some reason, just and it really just because there's nobody over the center. But because there's nobody over the center, QB sneak is a little bit better um, against this than you know pretty much any other defense. So this also is going to stop like a jet sweep. A lot of people like to run these jet sweeps. You can just shoot that B gap, and then you have that outside linebacker to kind of contain the edge on that run as well. 
Now, I did want to show you kind of a power O based run, and I don't think I have that in anything other than the goal line. So I did want to show you that real quick. So if you're playing goal line, one of my favorite tips is, again, to just kind of slide these guys out slightly. It's just going to help kind of keep everything in front of you. And then the power O, as you see, you're able to – you're going to be just fine against power O. It's not the biggest um, – again, the biggest thing here, if you think about power O, where's my gap to shoot? I'm going to flow into the gap of the run, right? So, again, you can just spread your linebackers if you want to, or you can individually slide them out. And then this time I'll run left side, and you see here – I'm able to just shoot in and I'm able to make a play on the ball. So by and large, there's not really a run in the game that's going to do super good against this this year. The best run that I've seen, I don't know what just happened on that play. I don't know if I'm, I might not be in the power row. Let me make sure that I'm actually in power row because I'm not seeing a pulling guard. But you'll see here if this is power row, which I would probably be anticipating, actually not terrible blocking there. The power row is probably the, in my opinion, the hardest run uh, to stop from this just because of the way that they're going to kind of kick out kick out that linebacker. That's another reason why if you slide these guys out, it's a little harder for power O to be ran. It's just a little easier of a gap shoot. And I just got to – one other tip I did want to recommend to you guys as well, because there's not really uh, a ton of good ball carrier more moves anymore in this game, one of the things I wanted to recommend is dive tackling. So when you're running down here, I'm just going to dive tackle – and what that can do a lot of times is you can basically tackle him before they actually end up blocking you. So, again, let me just flip this to the left side. You'll see here kind of dive through like that. And, and again, a little difficult to show with two controllers, but the concept of diving before you're able to get blocked with their fullback I think is a pretty decent little deal. And, and, and what, it can, what you'll get a lot is a lot of shoestring uh, type of tackles in game. Again, the biggest thing here – is, of course, the fact that we're using two controllers, so it's a little harder to use her. One other thing that I really want to stress that I haven't talked a ton about yet is this idea that we have um, the contain and then also flicky, or um, clicking the right joystick in will kind of send the safeties down and will help your defense get better sheds against the run. This has kind of been something in Madden for a long time. Again here. We'll kind of click that stick in. And again, you don't want to do it so much that you can't obviously use the run. This is kind of a byproduct of, and you're seeing, I mean, power is the harder run to stop because you have to actually kind of, you actually kind of have to do something with your user. But there you see, there's that dive tackle that I was trying to show. And you're able to get that dive tackle kind of in that animation. So when you get that animation right there, it's hard to run on this. And again, you know, you're getting, uh, I'm getting some kind of crazy blocking from my right tackle. That is more of a, it's also a little bit of a goal line thing. One thing you can do that I do want you to know is, like, in this situation, there's, like, a clear-cut strong side to the right. We can just send this linebacker off the right side as well, and this will just make it a little harder to run the ball, right? So if you ever want to send five, you can do a send five and get pretty good and still have decent enough coverage, but that will help as well kind of keep everything in front of you. But that is the 4-3 even, 6-1 kind of run defense that I like to use. Again, this is pretty good for almost every single run in the game. The only run that this doesn't do a great job of is goal line quarterback sneak. And then power O can be a little tricky to, to get. Most people run stretch and dive and jet sweeps. So I'm not too worried about power O. You really don't see that being ran a lot. And then as you see here, like a fullback dive or halfback dive is pretty straightforward uh, as far as blowing this up with your user. So that is the 4-3 even 6-1 defense for stopping the run. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you guys want to check out any of my full ebooks, full schemes, check it out in the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up for that is in the description below.